Hello everyone, this is Chao from Peking University. Today I'm very glad to share our work, Detail Efficient Service Analytics with Elastic Parallelism. This is joint work with Zili, Xinyu, Songyun, Gang, Xuanzhe, and Xin from Peking University. Recently, service computing is becoming an exciting cloud computing paradigm. Many cloud providers and open source communities are providing service platforms such as AWS Lambda, Azure Functions, and so on. At the core of serverless computing is fine-grained resource elasticity and fine-grained billing. The resource elasticity enables users to easily scale up and down, and the billing policy ensures charges are only incurred for active running, with 1 megabyte and 1 millisecond granularity, which makes serverless computing very cost-effective. These two benefits make serverless an attractive choice for distributed data analytics workloads. As we can see, several works have ported data analytics applications to serverless platforms. Typically, these applications have a job execution DAG, which is composed of multiple stages, and each stage composed of multiple parallel tasks. Users deploy the tasks as a pool of serverless functions with two performance goals. First, we want the job completes as fast as possible, which corresponds to job completion time, or JCT for short. Second, we also want to run the job at the lowest cost. On major serverless platforms, the cost of a function is the product of its execution time and memory usage. And this paradigm introduces a new scheduling problem for serverless users. As we know, the number of parallel functions, or the degree of parallelism, or DOP for short, affects both JCT and the cost of the application. And the fine grained resource scaling of serverless computing enables us to adjust the DOP of each stage for optimization. For example, a stage with high resource demands can leverage higher parallelism for lower JCT, while a stage with low resource demands can use fewer parallel tasks to save cost. As a result, here we are wondering, can existing parallelism configuration solutions optimize serverless performance goals? To answer this question, here we have a simple SQL query example with three stages. The widely adopted solution, which is applied by academic works like Nimble and is also Spark's default parallelism setting, follows a perspective of data. It adjusts the DOP of each stage proportional to the input data size. To simplify the example, here we assume the execution time of a stage is in proportion to its data size. Stage 1 processes more data than other two stages, so it has the highest parallelism, and we can see that the JCT is greater than 20. However, to minimize JCT, we need to consider data dependencies. In this case, increasing the DOP of the downstream stage, that is stage 3, and decreasing the DOP of the other two stages reduces the JCT to less than 20. In addition to considering data dependencies, the data-based method also suffers when the execution time is not proportional to the amount of data. Now let's revisit serverless performance goals. We can observe that the most important factor for both JCT and cost is the execution time of each function. So in this work, we propose elastic parallelism scheduling to match the resource elasticity of serverless computing with parallelism scheduling in data analytics. The main idea is to optimize serverless performance goals directly from a perspective of time. However, achieving such elastic parallelism is non-trivial due to the following challenges. First, elastic parallelism scheduling requires an accurate prediction of the execution time on the dynamic parallelism configurations. And as mentioned before, to calculate the optimal parallelism also needs to consider the data dependencies, which can be very complex in arbitrary DAGs. Second, recent state-of-the-art serverless frameworks have proposed the shared memory for high-speed intra-server communication. This makes function placement relevant to parallelism configuration. Here's an example of a MapReduce job. The size of the circles indicate their execution times. We can choose high parallelism for the map stage, but the intermediate data should go through the slow remote storage. Or we can decrease the parallelism to let the data go through the fast shared memory. In the end, it is uncertain which case has a smaller JCT. And this slide provides an overview of how Dito addresses these challenges. For challenge 1, we develop an execution time model to capture the time on the dynamic parallelism. 
and propose a DOP ratio computing algorithm to find the optimal parallelism configuration. For challenge two, we greedily group stages with high shuffling overhead and combine it with DOP ratio computing into a joint iterative optimization approach. Then I'm going to talk these designs in detail. We observe that the execution time of a data analytics stage is typically nearly inverse proportional to the degree of parallelism. So we model the execution time as the sum of the parallelized time and the inherent time. The former represents the major overhead for processing partitioned big data and decreases as the DOP increases, while the latter stands for the constant overhead such as function initialization. We can visualize the execution time by time units. Let's say alpha is 8 time units and beta is 1 time unit. When the DOP is 2, the execution time is equal to 5 time units. And when the DOP is 4, the execution time is 3. Now with the time model, we want to minimize the JCT for serverless analytics. Let's move to the two basic conditions composed of two stages. First, for stages connected by data dependencies, the completion time of them is the sum of their execution times. In this case, we can formally prove that the optimal condition for the two stages is that the ratio of their DOPs is equal to the square root of the ratio of their alphas. Second, for stages with the same downstream stage, the completion time of the two stages is the maximum of their execution times. In this case, we try to balance their execution times and get the optimal ratio of their DOPs as the ratio of their alphas. Besides, we can merge the two stages into a new virtual stage, which is equivalent in terms of execution time and also conforms to the time model. In this way, we can compute the optimal DOP ratios step by step for arbitrary DAGs. Please refer to our paper for detailed algorithm description. For the joint optimization problem, we use stage group to decouple function placement from parallelism configuration. Stages within a group should be placed on the same server to eliminate data shuffling overhead. Since the grouping problem is NP-hard, we apply a greedy order that groups stages with high shuffling overhead first. However, for stages being grouped, their parallelized time parameters alpha will decrease and change the optimal parallelism configuration. As a result, we model the I.O. and compute parts of alpha separately and combine greedy grouping with DOP ratio computing into a joint iterative optimization method. Initially, we set each stage as a group. Then in each iteration, we group stages or stage groups with the highest shuffling overhead and recalculate the optimal parallelism configuration. We repeat doing this until no more stages can be grouped. Now we finish the part of optimizing JCT. For cost optimization, we need to apply the serverless cost model in our algorithms. Please refer to our paper for more details. We build a system prototype of DITO on top of Sprite, a serverless framework enabling shared memory. We implement the time model in the execution time predictor and the algorithm in the elastic parallelism scheduler. We evaluate DITO across multiple TPCDS queries and across various settings. The results show that DITO outperforms Nimble by up to 2.5 times on JCT and up to 1.7 times on cost. Please refer to our paper for more evaluation results. Finally, I want to conclude the talk with two points. First, Service Analytics introduces the elastic parallelism scheduling problem to optimize serverless performance goals. Second, to address this problem, we propose DITO to co-optimize parallelism configuration and function placement from the perspective of time. This is the end of my talk. Thank you very much for listening.